Prohibition came around, the man shut down the party, and all the great bartenders working in New York... Damn the man. Damn the man. Took off for uh, Paris and London. And so this is a drink that came out of Paris at, the, at that time when they still knew how to have a good time. Interesting. The brandy that we're using is this, um, you'll appreciate this, it's uh, Germain Robin from Mendocino. Ah, oh, very nice. Okay, this is a small batch. Like it. Craft distilled up there using Mendocino grown grapes. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, when we were talking about this before, I'm, I'm interested in the idea that you would take perfectly beautiful grapes or wines and then go one step further and distill them down into something more focused and intense. Nice, yeah. I like the, I like the yeah. idea. All right, so I, you have your cobbler shaker. I have my Parisian right. shaker in honor of the drink's heritage. We'll do um, an ounce and a half okay. of the brandy, which is all the way up to the top on this side of the jigger. All the right. way to the top. All the way to the top. You know how that works. The only way to fly, Dave. <laughs> Oop, yikes. A little bit heavy. Excellent. And flip it over. Not the most graceful pour. <laughs> flip it over and we'll do three quarters of Cointreau. Okay. Like that. Yeah, the Cointreau has sort of resonance of that whole era. I love all that classic poster, yeah, all, Cointreau all that, poster art. All those illustrations from mm -hmm. back in the day. Mm -hmm. And then three quarters of this fresh lemon juice. Go. Fresh lemon juice. Got so it. what were the grape varieties that went into, just out of curiosity? They use um, Semillon, they use uh, Pinot Noir, they use Viognier. That was a mix of red and white grapes. Well, that's a nice blend. Yeah, yes. Yeah, it's a whole new meaning to the art of the blend. Absolutely. While that sits, before we put the ice in, we're going to rim the glass with a little bit of this sugar. Okay. So I take the lemon and just kind of brush it across half of the rim. Half of the rim. Yeah, to give people the option of, you know, oh, they may, I or like may it. not want sugar. Yeah. Sure. It's, it's more of an as-you-like-it thing. And then instead of dipping down like this, you just kind of tap halfway around, and you get that. Okay. Not quite your same level of artistry mm -hmm. here, Dave. That's why I'm here, Kane. <laughs> and I appreciate that. <laughs> All right. So let's get some ice in the shaker here to about a half or a third of the way full. It's probably three or four of these cubes. Okay. Maybe one more. Yeah. All right. Cap it off and give it a good shake for like, a good hard shake for like 20 seconds. it frosting up on the outside of the tin then you know you're good. Ta-da. You got your strainer already built into the cap and I have my little Hawthorne strainer here. To pour it in. Hawthorne strainer, that's what that's called? Hawthorne strainer, yeah, that was the original company that made these strainers was the Hawthorne company. Oh. And uh, now they're ubiquitous. You find yeah, them. now it's just what they call it. And then the garnish is one of these uh, lemon wheels. Nice. Right on the rim. Let's see what you think of the sidecar, my friend. Nice. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Good clean way to start the day. Yeah. <laughs> if you're Hemingway. If you're Hemingway. <laughs>